My name is Ty Evans, and this is Bob Burnquist here. I'm the director here on the, the Nestle shoot, and Bob's the pro skater doing the tricks and stuff through all the balloons. Yeah. And it actually sounded a lot simpler than, yeah. than it really was when we tried doing it. and you want to make sure it looks good. Last thing I want is to be like risking and then doing something that I'm stoked on and then the shot's gone. It kind of has to, you know, work both ways, so. The whole concept of it is we have all these bowls and we're going to fill them with balloons and have Bob skate through them. Uh, about a year ago we saw the YouTube balloon bowl clip with Matt Beach and I thought it was amazing, man. And we're just gonna try to expand upon that. And we have 50,000 balloons filling up a whole skate park, um, having fans shooting them up in the air and just filming it all 150 frames a second. And I'm excited, man. I, th I think it's gonna be fun. This is San Jose Skate Park. Those are the balloons over there. This is the balloon corral right here. Hidden underneath under all these tarps, we have balloons. I call up Steve like a week ago, tell him to come up here. What'd I say? I said, come up, come skate. So he comes up, his favorite bowl. Hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Full of balloons. Full of balloons. <laughs> Covered in a tarp. <laughs> this is drunk from Santa Cruz, and you filled up my bowl with balloons? <laughs> yeah! So when we go on tour, 92 or 93, I went on tour, and I tried a 540, <laughs> did the shins on the coping and smacked my face. That was pretty fun. Okay, so you know you're on a good shoot when your DP can skate. Thanks, that's a compliment. Look who's here. We're here with Atiba Jefferson. Are <laughs> getting caught behind the scenes? We were looking through a lot of directors, and then we realized, man, this script is about skate. And we just stumbled upon the intro for Fully Flare. I just clicked. And from the moment I clicked, I just knew it was gonna be him. And then we had a conference call with Ty. Um, everyone was really excited, got a treatment in. We immediately clicked. As you said in LA, that's rad. <laughs> well, I got a call from Ty and he's like, I'm working on this commercial and I really want you to do it. And, and I was stoked that I've always wanted to work with him, I've worked with him in the past, and then like knowing that we're gonna do something special. Hey Bob, you want less balloons for right now? Get the feel and then we'll get him in? No, if, that, if this is what you want, then I can do Go for it. Yeah, but I need this. Yeah, I need this last one. Like that? Okay, okay. So they're all wrapped up and it's just, you just see like okay. the bubbles. When you go to the park, we have a walk around and there is 10 uh, production assistants just blowing balloons and blowing balloons and blowing balloons. Mate, seriously, we had a whole bunch of balloons and there was much more, more than double to be blown up still. In total, we had 50,000 balloons. A lot of balloons. You know, he goes through there. The static electricity builds up and they just so, pop, pop, pop. We'll get the lowdown behind the boxes. So what are these boxes for here? These boxes are for sucking up volume. So basically you have a, 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 you have a full bowl and you have two options if you want to fill it with balloons. Fill it with balloons or put these guys down, take up some space and then put the balloons on top of it. I think the one cool thing about this is that like, you know, any person that is a director can do it, but as far as for me, it's like I have the experience from making skateboard videos and films and kind of know the aesthetics of the tricks and what's possible and what isn't. And Bob and I have the relationship, and it is pretty funny what he was saying earlier. He's like, oh man, this is like a random director that didn't know anything about skating. I could get away with the easiest tricks, but I've been like cracking the whip on him. And that's always better for me. You know, I, you always want to, you know, you want to look good. And, you know, and a lot of times, uh, you know, you want to take the easy way out. But if you like, you know, work with someone like Ty, you know, like even if you're working on a skate video, 
you've got someone that's pushing you and they know that you can do better, you know, and I would rather try to fool someone a little bit more, <laughs> it'd be easier on me, but I'm glad that I can't fool Ty because then in the end it's going to look a lot better. For Bob, it's like you, you want to like try a trick and you're like, okay, I'm going to try it. Okay, I'm getting comfy. And then in your head, you're like, okay, I'm going to go for this one. And so, you know, you go for that one and then you almost make it. <laughs>